Uh, Quinn Simmons has some absolutely outrageous power numbers and training, and I don't think I've seen much more crazy stuff than the last week. 27 hours, we're going to go through it because it's absolutely bananas. Um, this video is also kind of like, why doesn't Quinn Simmons do better? But I'm going to cover that at the end because I think there's some interesting things to think about. Anyway, we're just going to go through this kind of selection of random stuff. Uh, we're going to start, uh, we'll just start on this one. Um, so this is some VO2, and I think this is actually the biggest difference between pros and not pros, is the repeatability. It's probably easier if I go through this on workout, uh, on the laps, so you can see. So he's doing three minute efforts, 490, 490, 490, 490, 500-ish. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five efforts, which five by three, that power is pretty tough, especially with only three minute rest, half an hour to soft tap. 196 watts is obviously like really easy, like, really really easy like 120 watts 130 watts for most people probably then he does two minutes at about the same power but you can see some of the the rests are a bit harder like 230 watts um again these are actually like if you look at them they're 300 watt recoveries they're actually not even that easy um so yeah that's pretty wild and again here you can see like the watts aren't always zero but 531 for the last one then he has another 36 minutes of noodling and then there's one minute on one minute off um kind of maybe zone two in between but it's pretty impressive, especially this one. I think if, if you look at some of these, like he's not riding that easy in between, like 300 watts in between. But yeah, it's pretty crazy, this workout. And it's just the number of intensity, like the amount of volume he's doing of intensity is crazy. Like how many efforts he's doing. And this, is, I think, is the big difference is being able to do it. Even just the first set uh, is really tough. Then the second set and then the last set as well. Like it is really, really impressive. Um, next up is... Uh, like a, just a group ride but you can see it's a seven hour group ride this is like a chainy effort here you can see 400 normals for 37 minutes so really really impressive 23 minutes here again 412 average for 12 for 23 minutes is pretty good but this last bit um was really really strong 470 watts altitude's not crazy but it's not insignificant it's over 1500 meters um then it's like more just um through and off 295 normals again you can see pretty strong and then the, the, this i think is just <clears throat> uh some zone two but 300 normalized for seven hours is pretty bonkers to be honest um and it, in my opinion goes to show this guy's got absolutely mad talent um and should be doing a lot better in world tour races than he is and maybe this then maybe there's a reason why he turned junior straight away is not the best idea <clears throat> this one again is an interesting ride it's a fat max ride um again five hours 340 normalized pretty impressive but he has four hours at fat max, 340 watts, which is pretty impressive. Heart rate super low as well, 146. So again, you can see there's some drift, five and a half percent drift. Like it's not, it's not nothing, but again, it does go show pretty really, like well, very good aerobic efficiency. And then he does some like fatigued efforts here. Now these are really just to like spike lactate, get yourself used to doing lactate after a lot of kilojoules. Um, this is like 12 minutes, uh, 430 watt normalized. These actually look pretty tough to be fair. Um, these look like, yeah, one minute on, two minute off. So they're just kind of like, I guess, yeah, just fatigue resistant stuff. But yeah, it, it's very impressive. These numbers, like they're really, really high. I don't know how much he weighs, maybe 72. I saw maybe 76. Um, this is a little bit, uh, 27th of December, he cracked out, um, some torque efforts. So again, these were, uh, these were pretty strong as well. You can see 10 minutes, 365, 52. So we can crack that in my little, so 67 newton meters. Not mental to be fair, actually, now I think about it. Um, but they're not insignificant. I mean, 51 cadence, 378 is like, again, 70 newton meters. It's okay. It's not mental for, for that long. He could definitely do more if he did lower cadence, but it's still, it's not insignificant. Um, and then the rest of the ride, again, is just pretty easy endurance, 240 average. Uh, this is a big ride as well, four hours, um, and then he does four by eight. Um, so you can see here, 435, 442, 449, and the last one he has 460, uh, and again, 337, so again, fat max for like two hours, so very impressive ride, um, especially with two minutes recovery, doing like 460 or whatever he was doing for this last one is really, really impressive. It makes me think he could probably do 450, 460 for 20, would be my prediction, maybe a little bit less, but again, like, you can see the heart rate, it is going up, but it's not, like, fully crazy, so... I think, again, like, yeah, I just goes to show he's mega strong. And then this is the last workout. Again, really, really impressive um, ride. Again, we'll go on the lap thing because it's just easy to see. So this was similar to last week. Again, you can see a lot of work done at the 500-watt range. 
five minutes, 500, two minutes, 260, 500, 500, 500. So it's pretty impressive. That's one, two, three, three by five at 500, 40 minutes off. And then one, two, three, four minutes, four by three at um, 500. And then the last one, again, just some two minute intervals, start at 500, five, and then the last bit, 550. So again, I think it's pretty impressive stuff. Again, you can see normalize is very high again. Like if we just select just this part here, you can see like a 370 normalize. So all in all, it's just pretty crazy. Five minutes, 510 watts. I mean, like that is just, that's really going some. Uh, so yeah, I think that's kind of the, the, my main things to learn. Like you can see here, like mid ride did 20 minutes, 400 watts normalized 450 this is doing intervals but he's so 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 strong um so what what does this show me well i think i'm what i'm gonna do is get his pro cycling stats up now because i don't think this guy his watts are what they should be like i know he's won tour well only 2021 but that's ages ago like he turned pro 2020 so and like i think you know maybe it's hard picking on him like he did win the u.s national champs but again i don't think that's that impressive like if you look at the people he beat yeah they're good Okay, no, then, what Tyler Williams, like, you know, these people are, like, Conti, like, Brandon Minotti is a big win, but, like, that's about it. Everyone else is not, like, crazy, crazy strong, so it's kind of like, well, why is he not doing better? And I don't really know, like, again, this one is impressive, Phone Drone Classic, if you don't know this, it's, like, the French version of the, of opening weekend in Belgium. Again, impressive, but, like, it's just, I don't know, I just expected more from him. Again, he won a stage in San Juan, it was really good, it was, like, a uh, one-kilometer attack. But you just expect more, to be honest. Like, I think ultimately you just expect that he's going to be cracking out some better results than he currently is. Um, and I don't know if it's because he has not minimal punch, so he's not good in the classic. Like you can see here, he never really has done any of the spring classics, which to me, or he did here, but he didn't have to all of them. Which to me, I know this is a long time ago in 2020, but to me it makes me think he doesn't have a good punch. So he's more of like a GC rider. Again, DNF'd all of these. And so then you think, okay, if he's more like GC, then maybe like, okay, but is he light enough? I don't know. And so you kind of get this tough situation where I think he is really good. And obviously he's got a lot of talent. Like you can see his numbers, they're really, really big. Um, but, you know, I, I just don't know if he's really getting the most out of being at track and riding the right races. Um, you know, he looked really good at Strada Bianca in 2020. Um, he got 12th this year. But again, like you look at his numbers and you think, oh, I should be doing better than 12th. Like I know he's good, but like, Roman Gregoire, like, they are good riders who beat him for sure, but you just kind of think, like, he hasn't really got much, like, I think he's, there's more in the tank, there's definitely more in the tank, um, having said that, though, I do think, you've got to think, he is only 22, so, like, in a normal rider, pre-Remco and Poggy, you'd go 22, you're like, oh, these are mega results, like, this guy's really, really strong, so I, I think that's why you shouldn't, like, he's not to worry and be like, oh, he's never going to be good, I just think, like, in three, four years, he could be really, like, really outrageous, because you can already see that his numbers are good, I think once he learns to race, once he gets, like, even better endurance, which I know his endurance is good, but I do think there's probably some just level of racing grand tours, it definitely helps, so, yeah, I think, ultimately, he is going to be really good, I just think it's odd, um, and if you look at this, again, it's, like, his best results, his points per speciality is climber, like, I know these aren't accurate, my points per speciality is sprinter, and I'm, like, useless at sprints, but, it does kind of give you an indication that actually maybe he's not that good at one day. It's maybe he is better as a climber. And to me, I think it's more like he's mega strong. And he just needs to figure out how best to use that power um, to get race results. Uh, and I think once he kind of figures that out, then I think he'll do really well. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.